Hey everybody, um, welcome to Jesus Rants. This is uh, the second episode. I'm going to try to get through this one with less ums and uhs. I have some notes this time, so hopefully that, uh, that'll do it a little bit better. Already not off to a good start, right? I want to get this done right, so that way my sister doesn't yell at me this time. Um, so today, the, the topic of conversation is going to be church people or um, Christians. And I wanted to start off with um, who, who I'm talking to and who I'm not talking to. Um, we had some friends of mine that thinks that, you know, make sure that we, that we get this across about, um, who we're, we're, we're trying to get our point across. I'm not talking to, ch um, someone that's been going to church for a couple months or a few weeks or just this last Sunday. I'm talking about, um, someone who has called themselves a Christian or someone who has been going to church for a few years now. So someone... Uh, if you've had I'm a Christian on your Facebook page for since you've made your profile, I'm talking to you. So, what what does it mean to be a church person, church goer, Christian? Uh, what is church? Uh, so, I, I I looked it up on the dictionary of church to see what the dictionary says, and the dictionary says it's um, a building where people meet usually on Sundays. Uh, a congregation, right? And um, where the congregation meets at the building. Um, no. And in the next one, it said it, it's a service that is conducted usually on Sunday mornings with a gathering of people. No, it's not a service. Um, the last one, or the third out of four, whatever, um, said it is a people with the same beliefs and just a group of people that share the same beliefs and the same religion. That's it. Church is people. Uh, to prove my point, if, if if you're looking in the Bible and when church was first started after Jesus um, died and resurrected and then ascended to heaven, it talks about the people would meet together in houses and wherever they could to, to game plan for how they're going to put Christ out there and how they're going to get Christ across without dying usually. So it has to be the people because it wasn't a building and it wasn't a service. They didn't get together like we do now and, ha okay, we're going to sing songs for this long and then our service is going to be this long. And this is, you know, that's that's not what it was. It was let's get together and let's talk about Jesus and let's see how we can get Jesus out there more often. So it's a people. So if you say you're a Christian or if you go to church, it's you. So when people want to know what church is like, they're looking at you. What are you doing? What does the church like? What is the church? The church is you. So you're the representation of that. Um, so when you t when you t say that you're a Christian, you say that you go to church, a Christian means like Christ. So what you're saying is, I'm just like Jesus. Now, obviously, that's, that's not the case. None of us are. I'm not. I'm not going to pretend I am. But that's what we're saying. So when people... Like I said, when people look at what, what is church, it's, it's you. Just same thing. What is a Christian? It's you. So don't play church, okay? Don't, don't go because you went as a kid or don't go because you want to make yourself feel better or don't go because you think it's going to get you into heaven because that's not the case. It's not the, the Bible doesn't say if you go to church or if you put I'm a Christian on your Facebook page that, that you're going to be saved. That's just, that's not what it is. You, you know, you get in, you get into, um, to heaven, uh, by faith and faith alone. You're saved by grace. That has nothing to do with going to church. Um, I'm not, I'm not knocking church. I go to church. I, I try to go as often as I can. I pretty much go every Sunday and, um, it, it's a great thing. And I do think it's biblical that you do go to church, but church doesn't save you. Okay. Jesus saves you. Love for Jesus saves you. Um, so faith, and by, by faith alone, you are saved. And um, faith without works is dead. So I think part of those works is, is going to church. Um, just as an example, uh, some and this is kind of getting out there more and more often. Um, if you're going to church but still living in your sin, you're making the church look bad. So you're making me look bad. And you're making um, all the people that truly love Jesus look bad. And you're making Christ look bad. If you're saying you're a Christian, you're saying you're like Christ. And if you're living in sin and you have you don't care about that and, and you don't have any 
any inclination to, to turn away from that, um, you're making us look bad. You're, you're making it look like Jesus doesn't save, and he does. And anybody that, that's known me for a while knows I'm, I've changed. I mean, I'm still the same person in, in some ways. I mean, I still like football, and I still love to hang out, and, and I like to play sports, And but I'm a whole new man. I, I don't I have no desire to do the things of the past at all. You know, now I have I have a wife and a kid and one on the way and and uh I, I don't care about childish things anymore. I'm grown. And uh I'm I'm so happy for that. And it wasn't me because I've tried to grow up for a long time and, and it wasn't until Jesus saved me that I was able to do that. Um so so Jesus does save and um we're supposed to show that. We are supposed to be the light to the world. And it has nothing to do with works, but we, we're we supposed to make Christianity look good. It We're supposed to lead by example. And it has nothing, I, I can't stress this enough, it's, you can act it out all you want um, and, and make it look like you're the perfect person, but um, if you don't have your heart into it, people will see it. And even worse than that, God will see it. And it's not going to get you into heaven anyway. So... Um, there's, there's one thing I was talking to, um, my sister about last night and it's, it's discipline doesn't bring about love. Love brings about discipline. So what that looks like is you can do all the right things and practice all the right things and go to church on Sundays, but that's not going to make you love God. It's not going to bring love to God and it's not going to bring God's love to you. Okay. You're going to get God's love regardless because he's the perfect father. But it's not going to bring, you're not going to love Jesus, and it doesn't doesn't mean you love Jesus just because you do all the things he says. But since you love Jesus, since he gave you life, since he's done all this these things for you, that brings about your good works. That brings about your discipline. That makes you act right because you want to please your heavenly father. Um, and one thing that I wanted to um, to touch on as well is is I feel that as church people, as Christians, we see people in the church that say they go to church, and we know they say they go to church, and it's and they're they're living their life, and they're 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 acting up, and they're just dead in sin, and sin, and we don't care, and we're just like, well, you know, everyone has their own problems, and that's true, and I'm not, you know, again, I'm not perfect. No one's ever gonna be perfect, and we're all gonna sin, and we're all gonna fall short, and that's how it is, but. If someone is, is constantly falling in sin the same way over and over again, and if they're living their life and doing things that that, um, that don't please Christ, you you should talk to them about it, as scary as that is. And and, I, and I've had to do that recently, and it's, it's not a good thing. But someone that truly loves Christ will realize that you're doing it out of love, and if you should only be doing it out of love anyway. Uh, if you're not, like I said, they'll see that. But if you your heart's truly with God, then don't be a coward then you should talk to them. Church isn't something that's really supposed to be comfortable. Like I said, the people, when they were meeting before, they were trying to figure out how to get Jesus out there and usually without dying. So it wasn't comfortable before. They had an oppression, like real oppression, not not the comments that I'm going to get for this video oppression, but the comments, like, the comments of I'm going to stone you if you keep talking, and they would keep talking anyway. So don't think that church is a place to be comfortable. If you're going to church to be comfortable, that then you need a new church. Um, one thing is is stuff with big churches, and it, it's it's so scary. And and um, like South Valley's growing so much. And and um, and pa you know, Pastor Jeff, he's a, he's a great preacher. He he preaches and he, and he does his best to preach the word and nothing but the word and the full word and make it practical for everybody who's there. And he does a great job of that. He has a great message. And his, his congregation is growing. But don't go there and try to hide. Don't go there just to be, you know, a number there. And, and just because he preaches a good message and then you feel better about yourself or worse about yourself, however it makes you feel, um, and think that that's okay. The church is a people. It's not a service. So don't go there just to hear the service and leave. It's You're supposed to live your life with those people. You're supposed to be there for, for each other when you fall. And, you know, and, and if someone else falls, you you need to help them up. And they should help you up when you fall. It's, that that's what it is. We're supposed to show the world around us what church is. And it's us. And it's the love that we have for each other. And it's love for the people we have outside the church. Because 
like I said, Christian is like Christ, and he was all love. He loved, he loved everybody, and he said some some pretty hurtful things. He made people feel bad about themselves, and and he told them exactly what's wrong with them, and um, it it was out of love. Okay, and I'm not saying go tell everybody that that they're living in sin, um, because that's what Jesus did. Because you're not Jesus, okay, and I'm not Jesus, and I would never. I would never want to overstep my bounds. Um, and, and before you talk to anybody, if you're going to talk to someone, pray about it. Okay, pray about it long and hard. And and talk to them in private. Don't talk to them in front of everybody else. It's it's not something that, that deserves attention. You don't need attention for it. They don't want attention for it. Um, so so just do it gentle if you are. And, in, and if you get one of these messages soon, if someone tells you, hey, I need to talk to you about how you're living, listen to them listen to them and then when they tell you something even if you don't agree with it pray about it before you respond because it could be something that you need to hear okay this this video is going way too long and i wanted told my wife last night that i wanted my videos to be five minutes and she said she laughed at me and said honey you don't ever talk about anything for just five minutes so i was expecting that um, i want to cut this short um if i forgot anything uh i'm sure my friends will tell me about it but 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 i just wanted to get that out there for um for people who are Christians and they say they're churchgoers, be that. Okay? And if you if you're having a hard time with that, pray about it. It's not easy. I struggle all the time. I uh, I you know, I it's hard for me to keep my emotions in check and I get angry when I'm not supposed to and and you know, we have we have our problems. But don't live in that. Don't dwell in that. Don't let that be who you are. You know, I know my friends know I'm not perfect and and that's okay, but they know that I've changed. They know that I'm growing. They know that I'm that I'm for Christ, and maybe not as much as I hope they do, as much as I put it out there. But that's that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Is I don't want to live like a coward anymore. I'm I'm uh, I'm done with that. So if if you're having problems, you know, like I said, you could send you know send your your emails to to Jesus Rants at gmail dot com. Rants ends with a Z. Um, send your prayer request and. Uh, and I'll pray for you, and, and all of our, the team that, that I'm putting together will pray for you, and if if there's something that you want to sit down and talk to me about, then we, we can do that as well, um, but don't uh, don't just let yourself live in sin, because you're, you're putting that out there, that that's what Jesus is like, when you say you go to church, when you say you're a Christian, so that's not okay, it's really not, um, 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 if if this angers people, you know, I I want to say I'm sorry, but I'm not. And um, this is something that uh, that I hear on a daily basis is the stuff that I listen to, and I check myself all the time because you should, you should, you should always look at your life and and examine it. It talks about you know God gave you a conscience, pretty much God gave you a, a, a spirit of man that to to look inside your soul. So look. Look inside your soul, and if there's something that you need to, to get rid of, then get rid of it. If there's something you need to work on, then pray about it, and we'll pray about it. Find some of your, your uh, Christian brothers, your church friends, and, and family, and have them pray for you with it, and see if there's something practical you guys can work out to help you with that. We all need help. I have people I go to, a lot of people I go to, because I like a lot of opinions, and I need a lot of help. So, that that's it. I, I hope um, I hope that, that this moves you. I hope that that you move closer to God through this. Like I said, this is this isn't someone that's been going to church for a couple weeks. So if if you're you're scared and and this is this you're like, "Man, I'm I'm not perfect. I'm not uh, I don't look like Christ." You know, that's you're not supposed to. I don't even look like Christ yet, but I'm working at it and and that's what I want to do cuz I love him cuz he's he's given me so much. He's he's uh he's freed my soul from all the the things that held me down before. So but this is something that, that we're striving for. We're striving to be like Christ. And that's just it. So don't don't uh, be discouraged. Don't even be discouraged if you've been there for five years. It doesn't matter. I was, I've was, i been praying every night before I went to sleep since I was about 10. And then now I'm just starting to, to preach the word. So don't be discouraged. Okay? Be encouraged that, that God is moving. That God lets you see this video. That he wants you to, to, to pray more and to talk to him more and to be more like him. Uh, so I love you guys. I hope, um, I hope Jesus moves in you today.